about the state of this relationship? Well, first off, I think it was one of the smartest moves our State Department made 20 years ago uh, when Azerbaijan uh, was freed from uh, Soviet dominance uh, to recognize the value of the folks in that wonderful country. And the value is both from the fact that they are a very diverse community and a very tolerant community, and also because of their juxtaposition uh, in the world. Uh, ha having the sea as part of its uh, border is always a, a good asset to have. Um, one of our most important allies in the region. Well, who could have predicted 20 years ago that we would have ended up in a war in both Iraq and Afghanistan? Uh, but September 11th, 2001 changed all of that, and we needed to have a supply route uh, to get there. And Azerbaijan has become a very important part of that supply route. Not only that, but they have uh, put forces over in the region to help us fight uh, those two wars. So they've been a helping partner, not just in getting our own troops over there, but putting their own troops in harm's way as well. Perfect. Um, are you how they've helped in that transportation of troops and supplies? Well, one of the things that we have to have, not just for this uh, arena that we're in now, but in the future, is to have a supply route that is open, uh, not just for the U.S., but for our, our NATO forces. When you look at where Azerbaijan is, it's in a kind of a bad neighborhood. Uh, Iran, the Soviet Union, well, Russia, um, you know, it, it's, it's a friendly territory is not, it's, a, it's, it's friend, it's, it's a, they have too many enemies. And so they themselves may need to have some protection. The other issue is, is that we need to be able to make sure that that area stays um, sa as safe as it can be. And in order to do that, we have to have friends that help us in that end. But the other thing is, is that Azerbaijan is, has a great opportunity uh, to bring um, oil, fuel uh, to other areas, and that is equally important, uh, not just for Azerbaijan, but for the area as well. Absolutely. Um, how are the Azerbaijanis working on Iran's nuclear weapons program? Well, one of the things that they are doing is supplying oil, and any time that you can get another country to supply oil, that means that uh, the reliance on Iranian oil uh, goes down. And one of the things you have to have in order to make a nuclear bomb is money. And any time we can um, pull back on Iran's ability to make money, we can at least slow the process of uh, them moving towards nuclear uh, weaponry. Absolutely. Um, and one final question for you about the relationship between these two countries. Well, I think it sends a very important signal. Uh, the fact that Israel and Azerbaijan have created a friendship, I think sends a signal to that region that Israel is not alone. It does have friends. And the other thing is, is that it allows Azerbaijan to build up its own military, which is important for its own self-protection and self-reliance. Uh, so they, the mutual relationship that they have benefits both of them. But more importantly, it also benefits the world because it allows for two really good countries to be little anchors in a bad neighborhood, anchors of peace and prosperity. And again, you know, Azerbaijan is proof that uh, countries in the Middle East can uh, be very diverse in their population and still seek democratic ideals. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a Muslim country, but it it's very tolerant and, and welcomes uh, diversity of religions, Christianity, um, Judaism, etc. And that sends a signal, I think, to the other people in the Middle East that if you really want to grow your economy, you have to be accepting of the world because you can't grow your economy inside, you have to grow outside. And to grow outside, you have to understand the world's a big place and it's very different. Very well put. Is there anything else you'd like to say that maybe we didn't touch on? Well, just happy birthday. And I, <laughs> you know, I think it's really wonderful. As a child, I never thought I would see birth of nations. I thought that was something that happened hundreds of years ago. And uh, in the last 20 years, I think we've celebrated some really great milestones. One of those is Azerbaijan. Absolutely. Thank you so much. You're welcome.